<laughs> okay, welcome to robotics. So I've got a robot here. Looks like I got robot number five. I'm gonna turn him on by just pressing that center button right there. You see it lights up and it's gonna take about, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to start up. I've also got my iPad here. Uh, I'm gonna just go right here where it says um, education, programming, Lego education. There it is right there. That's what it looks like. You know you're in the right place if you've got that. Okay, the robot's still starting up, so let's just wait for him for a second. I told you it takes a while. Okay, it made the little noise, so it is start up. It has started up, I should say. Okay, the screen is kind of hard to read. It's not backlit, I'll give you that. So it is kind of a tough one. But you have your left and right, your up and down, your select button, and this is your back button here, okay? That's also what you use to turn it off. You press the back button, or to cancel if it's running, press the back button, okay? So, um, but uh, we'll come back to this in a moment, but anyhow, that's how you can make a little click sound where you move around on the screen, and we're gonna do that in just a moment. Okay, so this is uh, number five. I believe that's what it says on the screen. It says that it's number five. Uh, back to the app here, I'm just gonna tap on it. And I'm going to go to new program right here, new program. And I'm just gonna have it just, I'm gonna take this green one here, the one with the double motors, looks like a little steering wheel on it. I'm gonna drag that up just so I have something there. And all it's saying right now is it's gonna go forward for one uh, rotation. Okay, so I've got a, a simple program. I, I'm gonna press the house button up here to go back to the home page. I'm going to name that program. Remember, you're sharing this iPad with 10 other students working on robots. So you need to name it something for you. So I'm just gonna tap on uh, this new program that I've made, it's just called program. I'm gonna delete the word program and I'm gonna put my initials, Charles Bradley Flickinger, CBF. Put something that uniquely identifies you. And right now I'm gonna do the, the satellite dish. So I'm gonna do sat dish, just so I know which program that is. This is gonna be the one for the satellite dish. I'll show you that in just a moment. So there I've got CBF sat dish. And uh, if I open it up, there it is. Now let's connect it to the iPad. Uh, sorry, to the robot. We're gonna connect it to the robot. Right here, there's a little button up top here that shows that we're not connected to a brick. It tells me everything that I need to know about how to make sure the brick will connect. I've already taken care of that for you. So I'm just gonna tap on the blue connect button and then it says uh, select an accessory here. We're just waiting for it to see our robot here. Let me just double check to make sure everything is good. Yeah, Bluetooth is all good. Oh, there it is, it showed up on the list. Okay, so there it is, the EV35. So just tap on that. It's gonna come up with a message and a big number on it. You don't need to worry about that. You just need to go to the screen and the screen is asking you, do you want to pair with this iPad? And I'm just gonna go over to the checkbox, hit the center button for select. And now that that is paired, I can just hit the pair button here and wait for it to, and there we are. So now we're connected to this. So if I press uh, this download button right here, it's now downloading and hey, it's on the robot now. So it's downloaded that to the robot. And now if I go in and just press uh, the run button over here, let me go over to the right place. Okay, there's my CBF sat dish. I go ahead and select that one and come down to the one with the little play button on it. Hit that one and there it ran. Okay, so there we go, look at that. It's running. Okay, so that's, that's the first step. That's uh, getting your robot, getting it paired to the iPad that you have and naming your programs appropriately and that's uh, what you need to know for now.